Jerry Coots Jr. inside the 63 of Kevin Thomas Jr. Yeah. Here, throw full of heat race winners to the outside starting 22nd, 27 of Tucker Glassmeyer. His inside starting in 21st, in 21, it's Christopher Bell. This will be fun starting from Phoenix. That's JJ Galen inside. The Royals for Rocket of the Zero Machine. That is Steve Buckwalter. Ninth throw to the outside, the 15-year-old from Angola, Indiana. The 39 BC is Zeb Wise. And to the inside of Rotor 9, time of the craft. number 97, from Angola, California, it is Maria Topher. Starting 16, you just heard him show. That's Chase Jones from Indianapolis, the 33 C. On the inside, it's Sunshine. And the 7 BC, Tyler Courtney. 25 cars in this race. It is Tyler Thomas. His inside starting at Lucky's. You're past, you're out. The 17 BC from my own California. It is Justin Grant. Moving to the 12th position, the 76 M. That is Brady Bacon.
Masonic Empire Paragraphs in Springfield, Missouri, and the winner was Mel Kenyon. He won a few races in his time. And a flat left rear, maybe on Justin Grant after the contact. He'll head on down to the infield. The driver's an awesome energy drink. Entry. All three able to be pushed away. Look at him in them stands, Pat. They're standing up for this Absolutely. One. This is just great. Woo! Love it. It's the largest legal Wednesday party I think we've yeah. seen in Speedway. That's the yeah. fastest I've seen Ray Kittens run in five wow. years. Probably effort out of Ray. Sprinter's leg. They're out. Out of the equation. Complete restart coming up. Front two didn't do too bad of a job getting started. They know they gotta go. There's some absolutely hungry dogs back behind. Matt Lowe's currently sixth and king of the DQ Vincent Racing Series, just one point out of fifth. What an opportunity for the thrill of Trump, Manila, Matt Lux. Here we go. Here we go. Complete restart. Drivers, Stephen Rebecca, who 
Brandon vs. Usak, traditional sprint car championship, East Championship. Carried that sponsor to a couple of ARDC championships. Pro flag of the air, Eric. On the end, success will go next time by. That was me. Oh, it's not done. Three laps more. 17 left. One lap left in the segment. Yellow light flashing. Yellow light flashing. No go on the start. Though some of them will hit the button. Yellow light is no. No go on the start. I'm slowing down. Everybody should be listening to race control. They should know that. Hey, Pat and Eric, I see uh, some folks asking if you are the. We know you're excited to be watching, but actually. Please settle into your seat so everyone around you can get a great view. I know a lot of people out there are not able to see the racetrack with everyone standing up, so we appreciate it, but actually, please settle down into your seat so everyone can see. This is an excitable, this is Kokomo level excitement. It is. <laughs> hey, we're excited too. Yes. Absolutely. Dave Thompson really? out there hustling. They, they see you standing and they want to stand. Abs I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> some attention down start finish line area so pause for pause that's why the yellow light came back on everybody was lined up the right way etc etc looks like something that's going to need an official's eye or technical person's eye down there in the start finish area is going to require us to go on an extended yellow flag <laughs> is the reason for the extended break, at least generally. I received a text from my longtime pro and his room. I think he was from Andy Griffith. Provided me something I knew. That is that we've talked about Corey White and I think light off initially and then the light here in turn one was still on and illuminated every other light went off so even though i don't think the drivers got the signal to go they were ready to go the green light wasn't wanting to come on we correct correct never good stubborn yellow light that's the problem that's a technical issue i think they've at least got everything unilluminated here tom hansing says let's give her another try Three complete, one left in segment one, 17 laps to go. Great in the Lynch, Alex Bright, first and second. Travis Young, the Southeastern Illinois racer in third. Going Wyatt early in fourth, Matt Lux in fifth. He's falling back. He needs to get back to second or better to stay in this thing. There's been a few movers and shakers and fallers in the first three laps. Back to green for a single second. Everybody's listening to race control. <laughs> it's hard not to do. That's good. As we mentioned right before the start, the last time, it looked like everybody just kind of took off unconsciously. Now everybody's, everybody's got it figured out. Tom Looks Brent like for Travis Young, yes. Looks like Blake's got an insight. We're putting a lot of faith in race control, huh? Yeah. Hey, we got a sprint up there. We'll do it. The driver's oh, have common even. 
Drivers have those one-way race radios. A lot of them choose to use that new racing electronic switch radio that you can pick up from Chris Michael in the pit area. Pretty cool little deal that you can listen to all sorts of different things. The hot hits, the AM tunes, everything. Yeah, well, yeah. you're bringing the hot hits to us now, aren't you, Eric? <laughs> It's always hot against night at the front. Wait, what? Yeah, ladies' night at the front. That too? So bad, Lutz just pulled in. Free parking. So a little bit of a slow start to the Stoops Pursuit. We're glad you hung with us here tonight. The wind has kicked up a little bit, just from a different direction, but it's turned into a pretty nice night here as well at IMS. A couple more cars to the infield here. So, of course, as we look at it here, as I mentioned when we got to this restart, Frank Lynch and Alex Bright, they were racing pretty hard to start that last speed like segment. They have passed cars, so ideally, you want to pass and then you want to survive. So, those two, if they know what's good for them, will kind of just race as cautiously and fast as they can if there's such a thing. It'll last as long as they can until the big money's on the line. It's a midget version of the NCAA basketball tournament. It's right. five in advance. You know, right. What? If Jimmy B was a racing fan, huh? he'd be loving Yeah, he's right there. Class. He'd be like you. Class. All right, here we go. Brayton Lynch. Up oh, ahead of Scoop's pursuit. He's in the How many are A self-cleansing Stoops procedure. <laughs> and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. just loving it. That's right. That's right. You know, he can basically, Blake, he can hang in the back as long as he wants. He ain't going to get passed. Exactly. Just, just hang out. Nothing to lose back there. Not at all. That's okay. kind of a conversation Kevin Thomas Jr. Here we go. Is that Thomas right there next to him in the 91? Looked like it to me, but I'll tell you, he was making something happen. And I thought that high grip was going to work for him, and then it came across up there between three and four. Sustainability up top, especially over there in turn three and four, it seems a little trickier. It seems like there's a little bit more uh, fluff up there in the corners, whereas you're kind of up to the wall. You're at least getting into one and two. That's been a tricky spot tonight, getting into three. So Thomas and Bacon a little bit. All right, we're in segment two, I do believe, of the Stoops Pursuit. 16 to go. Brayton Lynch, Alex Bright, Corey Wyatt, Matt Westfall, Chad Boat, your top five. 11 cars are left on it. A little more manageable field, I might add. It could get real dicey now. Here we go.
Actually, <laughs> hey, I, if you, as you can tell from my lack of braveness in this uh, scissor lift, the yeah. training wheels were essential. Well, you guys went real high on the scissor lift, I see. <laughs> it's like the Dumbo ride in Disneyland, you know, <laughs> to test the bravery. Well, this is, you know, and I knew it would get like this, Pat. Right. We, we'd start to lose cars, we'd fit it out and turn it into a heat race, and it's a heat race with a lot of money on it. Now it looks like we're having a little bit of a dispute for the third and fourth position. As Jay Croxton, the scorer for the United States Auto Club, often reminds the drivers, we have electronics that tell us where to cross the line. <laughs> Pretty fancy stuff. Right. The electronics know no bias either. Have no bias. None. Nine cars left. Twelve laps to go. Years ago at the Kokomo Speedway, a guy I liked came up to the booth and said, all my buddies yeah. said I got that transfer position. And I said, all your buddies are off the line drinking beer and have been all night. In the booth, we all had it another way. That battle's gone on forever. And the beer tasted terrific. Brayton Lynch, your leader, scale in the Stoops Pursuit. Segment three, ready to go. Two laps from halfway. Shane Cottle pulled in after he spun around and realized, well, I'm out anyway. Matt Westfall will head in because Zip Wise is in third. Now Zip Wise and Alex Bright have worked that high side for a while. Matt Westfall was making that low group work, but ultimately had to give ground. Seven cars left, eight laps and two segments left to go. Brayton Lynch, Alex Bright. Seb Wise up front, J.J. Yaley in fourth. How about that? J.J. Stern on the outside of row 10. Stenhouse in fifth, Jerry Coons Jr. sixth, Tucker Klossmeyer in seventh. Tucker's just kind of hung at the back of the line. How many accomplishments by drivers in this field? Many championships, some young, some old, but this is the talented group. As they find it. Here we go.
Zeb Wise has made it happen as well. My brain was. Wise can win in the 39. Yeah, we had to go on low power high. mode. Somebody's got to try the bottom. Who thinks Kaylee's going to win in the 63? Jerry Coons Jr. to 25. How about Klossmeyer in 27? That's strong all night. And it's interesting how this works because drivers who have been strong and showed that in the heat have done just that. The eliminations are over now. It's go time. Yep, it is time. It is winning time. Four laps. 1500 plus the bonus cash. Whoever can win the Stoops Pursuit. Anderson will have a word with the top three in this 